Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. So as you can see, I've got both my inverters set up and they're in parallel and they're running. And I mentioned before that I got them for some additional capacity. So let's see what that looks like. We'll turn everything on and we'll see if we can get these to break a sweat. Okay, all the lights are on in the chill area of the shop. Got my uh, first mini split is on max. So it's on air conditioning at 62 degrees. All the lights are on in the shop. We turn on the uh, workbench as well. Get that fired up. And we'll power, power up the uh, drill press. Let's get uh, two air compressors going. This AC is on max as well, 62 degrees. <coughs> no issues at all lifting up a car. See what kind of power we're pulling right now with everything on. And I am pulling about 4,900 watts from this inverter. From the other one, 4,600. And this fan up on top is just barely starting to spin. Same with the, uh, with the other side. And I've basically got everything on. The only thing I don't have turned on are like space heaters and things like that. But I already have my, uh, already have my uh, HVAC on full. So right now pulling 10,000 watts. Neither system is breaking a sweat whatsoever. Turn on the radio and TV. We'll turn on the second radio. And all the lights. They're starting to warm up. Got to have the black lights. All right, so this one's now 5,600. Yeah, I've got pretty much everything on. The only thing else that I could do is turn on the servers and uh, start mining some crypto. I could turn on the 3D printer, but I mean, Anything and everything is on. <coughs> Lift the car up. <coughs> Lift another car up.
No issues at all. Like I said, they're not even breaking a sweat. So that's why I got two of them. So I can put as much load as I want to put on it and would have no issues whatsoever. So next I've got to set up these three for the house. So that's going to be coming. And yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching Mike's Garage.